In this big tip video, I'm going to show you how you can trigger sales alerts and emails to individuals who are visiting pages uh, that do a comparison between your products and some key competitors. So obviously the intent here is anyone that lands on a page where you're talking about yourself versus your competitors are interested and you want to do some contextual follow-up. So there's the background. Now what we do is we've got a what we call a URL tag bot. So what you want to do is create a link name which is descriptive of that particular page. So in this one we would be we're comparing to MailChimp and the page type is comparing competitor. So to set that up I just click new page type and then I was able to type that in. So what we're going to do after we've got the link name set up and the page type is we're going to increment the score by 200. We want to give it a healthy increase. The next step we're going to take is we're going to do the link assignment rules. And we're going to um, say that if the URL contains Minksbridge versus MailChimp, which this one does as you see here on your screen, okay, we're going to basically assign it as that link name. That's a friendly link name. The, the significance of the friendly link name, as you're about to see, is that when you're setting up your targeting, whether it's to tag the person, to alert your sales rep, or again, add them to a drip stream, or do an automated follow-up, what have you. These link names um, allow a very simple plain English uh, rule for you to put in place, and that's gonna make sense in, in just a moment. But after I create the, the, the filter, as you'll see here, we have competitor comparison for MailChimp. We have the page type, which is comparing competitor, uh, the lead score increase is 200 and we have the rule here of what it's going to be okay and then you see we also set one up for HubSpot so we like it because whenever we're doing our marketing if we ever have people who will happen into this um, then we're able to do some automated follow-up and do all the other things that I mentioned so moving along if I go to my Autobot and I'm gonna be doing a tag bot so anyone who visits that page we're gonna tag them is comparing us to MailChimp and you see already I've got three people who have done that so I'm gonna click uh, comparing to MailChimp but I'm gonna show you what that rule was so it was link filter compare uh, competitive comparison MailChimp that was the page uh, again so that's the rule now I'm gonna show you how we would have set that up from scratch so I'm going to create a target for you and here we have it so that was the link filter. So how I got there is I clicked on the website actions. I chose link filter. And again, I can see compare to MailChimp. And you see we've got the HubSpot there too. So you see, once I have that target in place and I've got my tag bot in place, it'll be very easy for me to do other automated actions. So for example, let's say I wanted to create an email out to somebody who had clicked on it. So I would say MailChimp follow-up create and then I just go into an email and I start to craft that accordingly. So there you have it. This is where if you want to start to focus on follow-up to individuals who have visited competitor comparison pages and you want to finitely do some follow-up salespeople, email or what have you based on the competitor that they're comparing you to you can get that done. So now you're probably asking, well, how do I even get started with this? Well, the first thing you want to do is you want to get our web tracking snippets onto your website. So I went into account management and you just click on web tracking. And this is where we give you the web snippets. So anyone who clicks on your emails, um, when they come in and they're going across your website, we'll be able to see what pages that they're going to. Um, so this is very similar to Google Analytics. So if you're using Google Analytics, uh, your webmaster or admin, um, they will know exactly how to do this because they've already likely installed Google Analytics or Facebook tracking uh, snippets on your website. Hopefully you found this helpful and as always get in touch with support and or your sales rep, account manager, deployment manager, your best friend at Makesbridge and let us know if there's other helpful videos that we can produce for you and that you think we ought to be doing for the audience. Thanks again.